Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, found themselves pursued by paparazzi after leaving an award ceremony in Midtown Manhattan on Tuesday night. However, the accounts of the incident vary depending on the source. Initially, a representative for Harry and Meghan claimed that the photographer's relentless pursuit resulted in a near-catastrophic car chase, raising concerns due to the parallels with the tragic car chase that claimed Princess Diana's life in 1997. However, as more details emerged, the situation appeared more complex. According to Julian Phillips, the New York Police Department's Deputy Commissioner of Public Information, the couple faced numerous photographers, making their transportation challenging. Suk Charn Singh, a cab driver who briefly transported them during their multi-vehicle journey, stated that he would not describe it as a chase. Even New York City Mayor Eric Adams found it hard to believe that there was a two-hour high-speed chase, though he acknowledged the potential dire consequences of even a 10-minute chase. Tom Buda, the head of their security firm, confirmed that the chase was indeed frightening for Harry, Meghan, and Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland. Regardless of the precise details, this incident has once again brought attention to Harry's troubled relationship with the media. Harry's aversion to the press is well documented and understandable, given the memories of his mother's struggles with the paparazzi. His desire to change the press, particularly the UK's tabloid media, has been a recurring theme in his public statements, interviews, and publications. However, his emotional stance may hinder his ability to fully grasp the complexities and motivations of the industry, leading to a potential cycle of negativity. In his memoir, Spare, and related interviews, Harry criticized the royal family's culture of leaks and planting stories, suggesting that family members and aides had leaked unfavorable stories about him and Meghan for their own benefit. The couple's Netflix series reinforced these accusations, highlighting instances where private information appeared in the British press without their involvement. While some royal reporters have denied the palace's involvement in negative briefings, the broader relationship between the royal family and the press is complex, with journalistic practices varying across different contexts. Instances of unethical behavior, such as alleged phone hacking and racist bias, have been documented, and legal action has been taken against certain publications. Ironically, Harry and Meghan, who have chosen to pursue a public life, rely on traditional media outlets despite their aversion to the press. With their absence from social media, journalists play a crucial role in promoting their foundation, Archwell, and reviewing their books, documentaries, and podcasts. Empathetic journalists have conducted high-profile interviews with Meghan, and Harry engaged in media campaigns surrounding the release of his book. While media support is vital for their influence, the couple's desire to shape coverage challenges the fundamental principles of journalism. Undoubtedly, being pursued by paparazzi in a foreign city late at night can be triggering for Harry, and it is important that no one, regardless of their fame, feels hounded. However, exaggerating the dangers of the press, even to a small extent, may lead to unintended consequences and a counterproductive outcome.